What's up, everyone, and welcome to oh. the very first episode, uh -huh. the very first official episode official. of Can't Bully Me, the podcast, hosted oh. by me, LaPortia, and my co-host of the week this week, we're bringing him back, uh, two is... Times. Two times. <laughs> two times. Call me two times, Tony. Oh. TC in the building. How y'all doing well, today? I don't, I don't have to tell y'all. <laughs> Tony is back. Now, you're going to see another episode, right, um, when this one comes out. And that is a preview episode. It was really fun, lighthearted, but it wasn't the official way that the podcast will be organized. For this one, we're starting with a segment known as the group chat. Now, let mm. me break down what the group chat is. The group chat is my own take on like hot topics hot. so hot. think hot topics except it doesn't have to be something that's trending right it just has to be something that we're talking about in our own group chats and my group chats are spicy Ooh. okay we get into arguments all the time <laughs> relationship talk you know vmas talk you name it we talk about it all uh -huh. so whenever you think about the group chat the group chat, remember, we're all one group, right? Spice. As you guys start leaving more comments and different things like that, that's the part of my group chat. Mm -hmm. You may leave something that's really cool, and I'm like, mm, Boom. we need to talk about yeah, that. Yeah, Let's talk about that. Let's break it we all, had all in. The show. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to start. We're going to dive right into the group chat. Okay. We'll now, since about. I've explained a little bit more, and this was something me and you wanted to talk about last week, yeah. but we didn't get a chance to. Would you rather uh, have a Drake feature mm. Or five hundred thousand dollars for me. Mm, for me, okay. I'm taking the Drake feature. Hear me out. See, when y'all was saying that whole thing with the conversation with Jay Z and all that, I don't mm -hmm. know about that, right? Because Jay Z could sit down and be like, "Why you didn't take the five hundred k?" That's what we need to talk about. <laughs> hey, he because, probably would say that. Yeah, no cap. No, like, what's good he would with you? Be like, why? Why you do <laughs> why that? You, you have five hundred k. What I'm supposed to do with you? What I ain't give you no money. I'm not giving you. Because Jay Z would say, I'm not giving you 500K. <laughs> not what are you talking about? Not happening. And so, but for me, I do, okay, I, a lot of you guys, some, most of you guys probably don't know this about me, but I grew up a trained singer. Mm -hmm. So I know how to sing, and I'm a performer. I've been in step shows all Ooh. across the nation. I've been in Missy Elliott videos. Mm -hmm. I have I can perform my ass off. So Talk when you Talk say, would mm -hmm. you take the Drake feature or 500K? I know Drake. what I can do when it comes time to hit the mic. Okay. Show, show us a little something. Give All right. Me, give me a note. No, because <laughs> I, this is no, no. Give me a note. No. Come on. <laughs> la, la. <laughs> no. La. Well, it definitely sounds better than that. <laughs> but, but when I think about feature, here's yeah. the thing. I okay. don't just think about singing. Yeah. Right? I think about, like, performance. You know, I could definitely do a, a, a sing song, like a talk sing song for yeah. sure. Could actually sing. I could rap. I'm not a rapper. Let me be clear. But if somebody was writing for me you on could. a Drake feature, let you me could. tell you something, baby. If Drake said come up with something, baby, I'm coming yeah. up with something. Yeah. I'm not gonna bust the note. <laughs> like, just like yeah. Tony, you know how you be take off with her? Yeah. Take off. Take like, off. I'm about to, I'm a, and I know Move. I have some very talented writers around me too. Sorry. I really feel like I could come up with something. But more importantly, the reason why I would take the feature mm -hmm. is that when it's time to do that music video, I can dance my ass off. Feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When it comes time, listen, when it comes time to hit that stage and hit that stage, I'm going to hit that stage. Bada boom, bada Period. bang. Bada boom, and bada the bang. Treated, when, it, when you hit that stage and hit that stage, <laughs> you better hit that stage. <laughs> like, shout out to my best Talk friend. To we him. say that all the time. So for me, Talk I know when it comes time to do that music video and okay. do that music video, yeah. baby, I'm going to do that music video. You're going to do that video. Period. So, point, point. and I will probably make more money just showing up in my full mm -hmm. talent mm -hmm. than just taking the 500K. That makes sense. Because now you're putting me in a position to win and showcase my talents. Right. More talents than just this. Like I said, I've been, I've been performing since I was a young girl, like, and I've been trained in it from dance, ballet, tap, jazz, hip hop, step. So for me, it's like, it's not a talent I talk about a lot. Um, but you dancing. Got it. Dancing, I do. Most of you guys know about the dancing. But the singing, I went through a lot of ups and downs. Like, I went through mm. vocal issues um, in college because I really, I hurt, I damaged my voice. So it's kind of like a sensitive topic for me. I had to learn how to really yeah. do things again. Mm. Um, but when it comes time to hit that stage you and hit that stage, 
Baby, I'm going to hit that stage. And that's period. <laughs> any point in time. Put me in front of any. No cow. And put me on any stage. I'm going to hit you that did. stage. I feel that. I feel that. I've been debating the question. Because, okay. like, you know, I ain't going to lie. I got a couple EPs out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I ain't going to plug the sound plug. cloud right now, man. I ain't even got to. You know, I'm still working on developing a little bit. I'm putting <laughs> the bio. All right. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to see if, look, I would. I'm, I'm feeling like, okay, I'll get a Drake feature, right? That junk gonna be hot. Like, he dropped some song with some nobody, and that junk was hot. This dude rolling now, now he got all these other songs out, yeah. right? But I'm like, hmm, 500K? Like, I ain't I ain't seen 500K before just like that. Like, just there? Damn, right there in your face. It's like, all right, now that's opportunity. Like, you know what I can do with 500K? I'm probably gonna go ahead and put out a couple studio albums. That's a couple albums. That's not well, just hold one up. feature. I need to flex for both of us real quick. You have seen 500K um, because okay. we won. Yeah, that's true. That's true. A really, we won a really huge scholarship, guys, known as the Bill and Melinda Gates Millennium Scholarship. Period. So oh. actually on this couch right now is sitting one million. <laughs> <laughs> and we're oh, just talking the scholarship money a million, alone. A million, 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 a million. You do got to flex one time. So look, we need to yes, we need thanks. to tweak that. We've never seen 500k in our bank account, yeah, but in our scholarship That's accounts right. and the money Talk that we though. have, Talk honey. I've been worth 500 since. I mean, 18. Since, listen, I've been uh, period. Talk so, so when you're approaching me, mm. please understand. Mm. I stopped counting my scholarship money when I got to 750. Okay. So I don't even, you know, so I'm like, I don't really know. I, you know, it's but, not a, it's not a flex all, if it's the truth. All, all in all, though. All in all, though. But all in all, we've never seen that shit in our account. You know, I just want to, <laughs> hey, yeah, seen that in that. You, you, you pull that Wells Fargo and you like, ooh, that's a lot of zeros. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, hey, what am I going to do with that today? But, oh. you know, I'm going to see. I'm going to probably go with the 500K. You going to go with the 500? Give me, a, give me a couple studio albums out and then I'm going to keep like, Two, I'm gonna keep like three hundred, something Man, like that. Man, I'm you taking know. that. I'm taking the Drake. Take that Drake. Feature. I ain't mad at you. I, I, I'm not I mad really. At you. It's I mean, Drake. but people who know me, they know that I love the stage. I love performing. Yeah. It's where I come alive. So for okay. me, Drake. Listen, as a matter of fact, he don't even need to show up to the video shoot. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you like that, baby. <laughs> You don't even got to show up, honey. Just play because I'm about, about to do this whole. Y'all uh -huh. thought Chloe was a problem? Okay. Oh, Lord. Who is Have it? mercy. <laughs> okay. Talk I'm about to show Talk out. To. I'm about to show <laughs> out. And you know the budget. You know the video budget is crazy. Is Please stop playing with me. Where, Please where you, stop Where you get this budget me. from? Drake. Oh, because Drake, feature. he got the feature oh, and, no, the, baby, I'm not and the video budget. Listen, I'm showing up as is. Uh, and Drake better take care of it. Listen. For sure. He keep the lights on in the building. Talk to him. Okay. Talk to him. <laughs> so this past Sunday, we had the VMAs. Facts. Okay. And it was some pretty big performances. I'm going to come back to the Lil Nas X one because we have something else to, to discuss there. Mm -hmm. But I loved Chloe, Normani, and Doja Cat. Mm -hmm. what, did you see any of those performances or did you not? No, but I'm team Chloe. <laughs> hey, why Chloe, you team, why you team Chloe? Because I love Chloe. Why you love Chloe? Because... I love her authenticity. You love her authenticity? Mm hmm And her uh, What's character. <laughs> and her personality. Isn't a word. Authenticity. I just plugged us it's a word. for having gates. Authenticity is the word. It's a STEM scholarship. It ain't English. <laughs> Science, technology, engineering, and math. <laughs> That's what no, I No, 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 no. Not undergrad. It's STEM for grad. Oh. For undergrad, that's everybody. why it took me so long to get my scholarship approved. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so, okay, authenticity is a word see, now. Did you see anything on social from the performances? Um, my Instagram got hacked. <sighs> so I'm struggling. I'm struggling. He is struggling. His that's why we're not putting his Instagram. On the little thing below. <laughs> New Instagram coming soon. I'll, <laughs> I'll drop it low. I'll, I'll, I'll put it there. Man. I'll put it there. So, Chloe knocked it out of the park, guys. I, I can honestly I already say. knew it. Chloe, she did a really great job. She was nervous. It was very clear that she mm -hmm. was nervous. She's used to performing with her sister, Holly. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's true. So, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. 
Like, she was really nervous. She used to having a duo. You're out there. You're by mm -hmm. yourself. You're in front of the stage. It's Everyone you. is saying that Beyonce is your mm -hmm. mentor. You're her protege. What are you going to do yeah. when you hit that stage? When you hit that stage and you hit that stage, are you going to hit that stage or are you going to hit that stage? All eyes on you. What you going to do? And Step she got up, up the there. Plate. It was clear that she was nervous, but you could see that during the dance break, mm. she really broke it down. It was really nice. Okay. I think that she still has a lot of growing to do. And I say of this course. is someone who has performed a lot. And when you, when you aren't, when you are not used to being on that stage by yourself, mm -hmm. shit changes. That's okay, right. I can tell you, I did a whole Beyonce themed step show, um, mm -hmm. solo step show, and I was on the stage by myself for certain points in time. Mm. And if the pressure is intense, you have to practice for that. Mm. I practice minimum four hours a day, every day for four months. Talk to, to build my endurance, to make it through the show, because you practice, but then you have to practice for your nervousness, mm. right? Stage, and yeah. I mean, she did a great job though. I mean, she really did a great job. I, I, I can't wait to see where more growth comes from. Yeah. Then um, in the future, of course, everyone really celebrated her. I think that we're happy. Mm -hmm. I can speak for the Beehive. I think that for Beehive, beehive. members. The Beehive. <laughs> we're happy to have someone else that yeah. we can be like, all right. Yeah. All right. Maybe all hope isn't lost. Yeah, that's facts, though. Maybe all that's hope facts. isn't lost. That's facts. Okay. She got time to develop, too. She has like, time. You know, she's she yeah, she's really young. Out. She's like, what, 23, 24? 23? So, I'm 23. You know, you know what? I'm you just, know what? I would you just say in facts about age, you know, the com commonalities. Commonalities? Between oh. authenticity. Authenticity? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, Chloe. Mm -mm. Not until. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I think I'll have more fun talking about Chloe later this year. Yeah. Um, but great job, girl. We're very proud of you. We love the we love the celebration of the natural booties. Mm -hmm. We love that because more girls yeah. need to see that stretch marks and all. I love how she did not For edit sure. out her stretch marks in her or she didn't spray tan them. You know what I yeah. mean? Like yeah, she, kept she kept 100. Them. She kept 100. Like because this is me. At the end of the day. For sure. I be trying to tell people, they don't care. Talk to okay? them. Okay. Mm. They really flip it. F flip it. Yes. <laughs> yes. They don't care, honey. Mm. But okay, no money. No money is. Uh, I can't wait to do a, a, a deep dive about no money with some of my girls. When I say girls, I mean girls, girls with a W. So really, I'm talking about my some of my gay friends. Mm. Um, because no money is somebody who. I was really looking forward to see what she was going to do. Mm -hmm. I put a little bit more pressure on her money as a performer because she comes from the dance world, right? She comes okay. from this big group, Fifth Harmony, and I thought her her performance was good. It was very Janet-inspired, very Aaliyah-inspired. Mm -hmm. You know, Tiana Taylor came out. They had the girl-on-girl -girl action going on. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was nice. It was good. Will I remember it 10 years from now? I'm not too sure, right? Yeah. And I, I put... I acknowledge that I put more pressure on our money mm. because she is, I, I see it. She's a star. She's also a brown girl, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. I say brown because she's not um, light-skinned. So there are just certain priv privileges that our money just doesn't yeah. have. She has to show up yeah. and hit that stage whenever she hit that stage. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the times, you know, we don't want to have those conversations. And I'm not going to do like the Normani Chloe comparison because I think that those are different. But I do think that, um, you know, brown skin girls in this industry, when you look at Seventh Street or when you look mm -hmm. at Normani, when you look at, um, I'm trying to think of more Justine Sky, when you look at these girls, they don't get a lot of the same backing that other people get, mm. right? And again, I'm not go I'm not talking about Chloe because I don't think that that really, wh when it comes to Chloe's situation, that's just totally different. She got picked by Beyonce. Yeah. That's just a totally different yeah. level of, you know, totally. access. For you sure. know what I mean? But I do think that I wanted more. I cannot lie to you. I wanted more from Normani. I watched it. Mm. I cheered her on. She did an amazing job. I wanted more. Yeah. As I mean, a can, trying to be Normani Stan, right? I really want to be yeah. her, one of her stands, but I want more from her. Yeah. Because, see, I've seen Seven perform in person. Mm. And Seven, I mean, she sings down, she dances, and it's really fun. And I'm like, Normani is getting a lot of 
she's getting a lot. She she has the support of Cardi B. She has the support of her label, and, and I wanted to see more. I she wanted to push. see her have a solo moment, you know, and just kill it. Yeah. Let you know she don't need, need thirty dancers hit that on stage. stage. Yeah, yeah. Because when, you, when you hit the stage, stage you gotta hit that, that stage. stage. I want you to hit that stage. Hit that stage, now. Period. Stop playing. Now the performance of the night to me, outside of Chloe's, was Doja Cat's. And I thought what Doge. made what makes Doja so interesting is that she uh, she too is a trained dancer, mm. and so she took she took a lyrical route this time, like a contemporary piece okay. that she did at the VMAs, and it was really 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 good and touching. Mm -hmm. And it just she has done Broadway, hip hop, lyrical. I mean, I just keep seeing Doja show up in yeah. uh and Doja show up in a a variety of ways. Yeah. And I love that because that's every right. time she come out to perform, I don't know what style she giving me. <laughs> that's My right. favorite performance that's of hers is her Billboard Music Awards performance. She mm. did this. Um, she did a Broadway performance. I felt it in my spirit. Mm. I was like, oh, oh, girl, it was there. <laughs> she really <laughs> delivered. She it was the music, the style, the hair. Oh, and I'm like, she is one of those girls. Doja is one yeah. to watch. She okay. is. She is a performer. Is. Don't she is that. one of those girls. Put and I'm watching list. you. Now, that little feet shit she was talking about in the past, you know, the racism yeah. feet shit. I mean, with the in the in that little chat room with the races and the that's a w that's weird. Well, okay. She she, I mean, she she is a little weird, but she I mean, that, weird, but that's I like what makes an artist. I'm about yeah. to say, yeah, you, you get the little funkiness, and then you kind of bring it out to where people can relate, and then yeah. boom, you got an artist. You I, I think that she has quite the imagination, yeah. and I see that play out on stage, and sure. she's really able to tap into something, and I like her. I like her. She's one to watch. I won't stay on this for too long because yeah. this happened Sunday, but I will say that she's one to watch. Now, mm. my favorite performance of the night. Here we go was Lil Nas X. He came through with the band theme, very um, Beyonce at Coachella yeah. or at Beachella, you know, <laughs> Essence, um, came out with the band theme, yeah. then ended up in pink glittery underwear. Bang. It was a moment because we haven't seen that from an LGBTQIA plus member, right, mm. on the grand stage like that. So I am so proud of you, Lil Nas X. You real stiff when you dance, but you know what? <laughs> You're a great performer. <laughs> he stiff. He hit that he stage. Did he, yeah. he hit that stage. Because when he hit that stage, and he, he hit that stage, and he hit that stage, he hit that stage. He hit that stage. Period. Now. Okay. And so All I was right. really I proud of him. him. <laughs> I thought it was very entertaining. I was definitely clapping my hands. You know, especially for, sure. for him to. He has the weight of the world on his back he does. with coming out, being this dark skinned man with curly hair, this internet troll mm -hmm. that's also gay. Not only gay, he's, uh, you know, as he would define, a power bottom, right? Mm. And it's like, mm. he, there are little boys right now that are looking and they're like, I'm not, there's nothing wrong with me. This mm -hmm. is just who I am. Mm -hmm. And he is carving out a space for those little boys to find out what they want to do. And I think that's important. You know, so many times for when sure. we're having this discussion about, you know, gay and no two men shouldn't kiss on camera in front of kids. What about the kids? And it's like, well, what about the kids who that is, that's who they feel like that's they are. Yeah. Right. And they're killing themselves. Mm. Okay. Sure. Like they're killing themselves because they don't see themselves reflected mm. in the media. They're being told at home the how they feel about something is wrong. And I am one of those people. I believe that you're born that way. I don't yeah. believe that <laughs> you just wake up one day and be like, I'm good. So I just decided I'm good. You know, I don't really think that's how it works. I think that for <laughs> most people, you yeah. know, you're born and you're like, I just really always like people. I like humans. Or you're like, I just really always like girls i really always like yeah. boys like from the people in my life that i know it wasn't maybe the maybe they accepted that about themselves later they, in life yeah right or figured it out they may not, not figure it out till later but then but it, for the yeah, most part sure. they always knew signs like me and one of my best friends we have this joke where we're like we'll to be talking about like an old destiny child's video and we'll be like he'll say i should have known then I was like, yeah, you should have known when you was gay back then. And you should have known. You should have known when you was doing the. Can I say no, no, no? Uh, no hold no, next, no. Look at the Can day. I say yeah, 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 
you know, <laughs> like like we always say should have known. And so I right. think that we can't just think about listen for kids that are straight, they have plenty of role models in this world. Mm -hmm. They got plenty of people to look up to yeah. from presidential families all the way down to street families from the Thanks. hood to Hollywood. Ooh. They got plenty of people to choose from. So let's take this moment to acknowledge that this man, this young man did something great, even though he's been threatened, even yeah. though they've said, we'll beat your ass, even though they said, <laughs> you're ruining our kids. No, yeah. baby, you're ruining your kids with that rhetoric because people deserve, they deserve to be who they are. Yeah. I believe that happy people who get to live um, out who they are authentically are better people in this world. No, that's, that's facts. Yeah, and you got you to gotta appreciate Lil Nas for like, I, I mean, like you said, he has, not only does he have the whole world on his back, the rest of the world is in front of him trying to push him down, you know? Ooh, that, yeah, say Ooh, that one. Say, I'm going to say it again. That was a nice one. Not only does he have the world on his back. Period. But the rest of the world in front of him trying to push him down. And and hmm. it's just like. But he keep on stepping, though. He, and, he does. Keep on, and not only does he keep stepping in what he's doing, he's developing, too. You can tell he, he's continuing to develop. I mean, and going into, because like I, I, missed the, I missed the performance, but to the album, though. I listened to the album. Mm -hmm. He He's honestly giving like you said, giving those those kids that don't have that role model, that, that are confused and a little, little lost in the world, giving them an avenue to feel connected, to feel to feel at, at one and, and feel um, okay with, with their, where they at. You yeah. know, and, and he's able to, have, all, right, all right, this is me, and you can, can you can relate through this song. I know you can relate to this lyric. Well, a lot of kids will go and listen to some other album, some Drake, you know, listen to the CLB, or, yeah, CLB, Donda, and, and not be able to relate. He gives them something to relate to, and and, and you got to be able to appreciate that, honestly. Thank you, you honestly do. And so I, I really, I just, I'm just so proud because as someone who has to read a lot of stories about what happens to especially gay little black boys, mm -hmm. they can't be forgotten. You yeah. know, our straight kids, they are, they're fine. Yeah. They have so many people to look up to, I promise you. Like... You know, and, and if 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 Lil Nas X performance is really influenced your kid that much, then maybe your kid, kid has something in, like in the that, first I'm place. Like, I'm like, I'm like, I, I don't think y'all understand that. I mean, how much did did, did Chloe's outfit influence them? You know what I'm saying? When they saw that natural booty, you're straight. I am. That's facts. You've been straight since you were born. Since legit. <laughs> Since I eat it. You know, I don't really know if a performance of seeing two men, you know, no. would really do much to you because no. you probably still would like girls. I, to this day. <laughs> to this <laughs> to day. This day. To, to this so, you know, day. I just think that sometimes we say things, it's like, no, 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 you have a problem with it and you're trying to project exactly. it onto the kids. But no, no, baby, you have a problem with it and you need to stop figure that, that out within stop yourself. Stop projecting stuff on your kids. Yeah, y'all really got to stop doing stop that. Stop that. Because, you know, y'all don't That's raise little man. monsters. Don't create a, mo a monster where there is none. You know, Facts. to go and torment somebody else because they are different from the majority of society. But they are not different within their realm. Mm -hmm. Right? There's still a place for them in society. True. So, but speaking of this, I just listened to Lil Nas X entire album twice. I must say, great listen. Very pop album. I mean, very much so. Yeah. I don't know. Um, it, I... He, I don't know where to put him. He's a pop star. He, yeah, yeah. I he's mean, that's really all you can say. He's a that's pop star. He's say. a rock star. <laughs> he's a star. He's, he's a just, star. He's, just little, he's a star for real. I mean, great I music. Like, I honestly can say. And I was not looking forward to his song with Molly Cyrus, but mm. her voice on it and his voice on it mixed together, it's great read. It. Yeah, great. I mean, pretty smooth. I ain't uh, paying no attention. I ain't, see the thing is, I I, I like I, I appreciate what he do. I mean, his music is to me is okay. It's you know it's not nothing that I'm like oh Lil Nas X album drop I gotta go I need I'm on that car ride put it down but I, I like I said though I think his he does well with giving his music I mean giving his the avenue through his music for kids to connect and I and I, yeah. I gotta appreciate that even this music though is like now that old town road I was I like, mean you can't, it that's was undeniable a like like that will forever yeah. be some kids uh, nugget yeah. buck for a. a like Here, that's you put like it on you, they, but they gonna be in college like on a take yeah, my guy in the ultra road. I wanna ride till I can't no more. I gotta uh 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 u
So, <laughs> hey man, y'all no, like that automatic style? Album. Did y'all like that connection style where we both just knew it was like about to rap and we were like, so. yeah. <laughs> Drake feature my ass. <laughs> I want this feature right here. Listen, this is no, the feature. I literally need. was gonna change the question to say a Lil Nas X feature because baby, I would take that. You gonna get the you oh. Gonna snack that? Oh, I would That's take that though. Lil Nas X feature. That's hot, man, though. I'll have so much fun with that mug <laughs> on stage. Man, man, please. Man. Going into the next thing. So, like I said, I love the album. Great job, Lil Nas X. I can't. I was listening to it as I was preparing for this. So I was doing my hair and makeup and on the phone handling some things. And so I didn't get to list out the songs. So I wasn't able to see the songs with it, which is why I said it was such an easy listen. It was an easy listen. I can't lie. That's it was fast. very smooth. It was smooth. As I was getting ready, mm -hmm. hearing it in the background, I will play it again. I can't tell you my favorite song right now. Because, of course, the song I've heard the most is um, Industry Baby, of course. Mm -hmm. That's the song That's I've heard the most. Yeah, so, I bet I really enjoyed it. Like I said, I, and the song with Miley Cyrus actually stands out with stands out to me. Um, her voice is very, it fits the melody mm -hmm. of that piece. I, I like it. And there's another song where he's talking about being dark-skinned and having big yeah. lips. And I, I, no, I thought that no. was nice. I what thought that was the, nice. Oh, the one song called One of Me. One of Me. That That's a good song. And, that, and I think that was the one that, like, really set the tone for the album of, yeah. like, this is me. This is what y'all saying about me. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I don't why, care. Yeah. Why? I mean. This is me. And there's only one of me. Like, that's tough. Yeah. Like, I, I really yeah, liked no it. No so, cap. great job. We are so proud of you. We are. We are. You know, we stand with people who aren't afraid to live in their truths. And learn That's while right. doing it. That's the important part. Mm -hmm. All right. So, I saw mm. this meme. And it huh. said, um, I don't see how y'all go out to eat by yourselves. What you? It literally said, people who go out to eat by themselves, they must be crazy. Well, baby, some. Let me tell you something. I don't need y'all to go with me anywhere. Nope. Okay? I go out to <laughs> eat by myself. I go to the movie by myself, no the cap. movies by myself. I go, yeah. No cap. No, no, that's really me. If you can't take yourself on a date, what you, who you taking? Why this you is why I have high thing? expectations. I can go that's to right. dinner and uh, I ain't even going to tell y'all how. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I take myself to oyster di dinners quite often. Okay. So that should already let you know what I expect uh. when I go on a date. So for me, going out on dates, um, it's actually more inconvenient. Okay. For me, because I'm so used to going out by myself. I'm oh. not a shopper, right? Okay. Contrary to popular belief, I don't like to spend a long time in a store. Boom. Mm -hmm. I like to go in. I like get to be out. Get. Yeah. You I'm not trying to try on things. No. I just mm. know what I know. What I, I know what I know you when know, I know, you know it. Know. Facts. That's facts. When I see what I know, and I know what I know, you know I know it. it. Boom. And I get it. Amen. And I walk out. I don't got time for all of that. Mm -hmm. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm not trying to stay in there a long time. My mama is such a shopping addict. Like, she loves uh, staying in Walmart forever and stuff like time. that. That is not me. Yeah, I need yeah. to get in and get out. So I tend to go a lot of places by myself because I don't like to wait on anybody. Mm -hmm. I don't really like to drive with a lot of people mm -hmm. because I love to blast my music. You know that one yeah, person that true. when you're in your car, they always want to talk. They stay trying to... Like, do you not hear... I know you hear I got industry baby playing. If I, I know you hear me trying to get in my you, feelings real quick. Talk to him. Because if I wanted to listen to you, I probably wouldn't have put on music. You know? Otherwise, I, my volume is on like 18. The max is 20. <laughs> probably not and trying be, to talk. No, no. And here they go. Hold on. Be the music. Be the music. Be the music. La, and so, Portia, you, you didn't hear that time la, when they was like, no, 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 girl. La, hold la, on. Turn it down a little bit. La, I don't know if you can hear what I'm saying. And they be trying to talk la, over the music. And you be like, and I, la, no, no, no. We done talked the whole time we was in the house. We gonna talk when we get to where we going. But, uh, but on this I'm car cool. ride, I'm I need talking. you to not hit that stage. I'm, I'm I need you to let those, I, I need you to pull back and I need you to let us blast. See, I reverse the clap. Mm, bring it back. Don't. But I'm also guilty of talking over the music. <laughs> so I'm both people in the scenario. 
Because like you think that little music, you think you turning that shit up to twenty gonna stop me? Uh. Hey, so then Tony, what did oh. they say? Uh. So then they was like, uh. and then uh. I don't know if you heard what I just said, so I'm just gonna repeat it again. <laughs> Now you reaching up to the front, turning the music down yourself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna hear me when I talk. You, you hear me talking back here. <laughs> you ain't right. You ain't My right. Best you ain't right. <laughs> when I'm trying to listen, be like, yeah. So um, I'm like, God uh, damn. damn. <laughs> <laughs> you not here to tell no, Hey, it. just in case you ain't never heard it before, don't ever touch a black man's radio. I don't know if you ever heard that. Just here listen. go a lesson today. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, nothing pauses faster than when you touch a black person radio and they be like, because they got to think about how much they love you and be like, uh, do I'm going to put you out, out right here on the highway on, on I-20. On I-20. Don't touch my radio. You this know is what? Radio. This is another time that I should mention something about Can't Bully Me. Mm. Can't Bully Me is all about, you know, really just trying to think through things, laughing, like learning through comedy, right? Mm expressing yourself, having different opinions. And y'all should understand that I curse. I do too. I curse. And I'm not going to not curse, okay? I don't believe in this whole, you know, it's unladylike to curse. You know what they used to try to teach? That if you was cursed, if you curse, that means you don't have a great vocabulary. And that's not true. Not at all. As a matter of fact, you would rather me curse you out than when I get into my vocabulary and, bag. And now you confused, <laughs> and I'm mad because you confused, and then we all get, it's a whole different <laughs> argument there. That set a whole different standard. Just be okay with me throwing shit in there because I'm too frustrated to go into my big old vocabulary. Period. Because when I start mm. reaching into that bag, see, now you about to be mad because you didn't know <laughs> that just because I used be incorrectly just now, you think mm-hmm. I don't know how to properly use it, mm-hmm. and now I got to send an email on your ass. Mm. Right mm. now, I'm about to ruin somebody's day, mm. and somebody probably getting fired. I don't, <laughs> even, I don't even work for you now, you're just getting fired. <laughs> so, my wife, <laughs> uh, so listen, I do curse. I'm grown, I believe that you can curse. Cursing, listen, I believe that fudge and fuck is the same thing. If you said with the right inflection, I, exactly. I felt like you just said fuck to me. You, I feel like, did you just? You did, did you, you, just, you but did you just say I want to beat your fudge in that elbow? Now, I gotta. Try to Mama. I do, period. Stop playing with me. Nah, no cap though. As a man thinketh, so is he. Mm. Oh, I'm Ooh. dropping dimes on y'all today. Now that's a good way. So y'all should match. just know, like you know, I curse, like, and it's not gonna stop. Yeah, and I ain't saying I'm about to sit here and go through the whole no, curse I word. Go through and, it. And, and, nope, I go through it. Nope. You need to be prepared. I come from a I come from a cursing family. So I can That's use I can use curse words. <laughs> shit. We we fuck around talk about she. anything. Yeah. I'm you know, I can use curse words anywhere. And just toss it in. Nah, toss toss it, it in there. there. So What's I just that? wanted to get that through. But anyway, like are you someone that can eat by yourself? Yeah. I like for me, I like to be alone. Well eat first I don't like people. What's your sign? Scorpio. Ooh. We the best. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. We the best. They're so they're so interesting. It's okay. You love y'all or hate have, us. So we don't have, care. Y'all have good hearts, but y'all mm. like really f- tense up in certain moments. And yeah, yeah, we're we're real intense. I mean, and that's why honestly though, and and we got good hearts. That's honestly why for me though that like I'm okay with being by myself. I understand that like like I appreciate every single one of my friends, definitely my close circle, because I know y'all. I, I I put y'all through a lot. And I love y'all. I appreciate that. So that's why I'm okay with being by myself. I'm, I'll go to dinner by my. I'll spend the whole day by myself. Same. And, and be okay. I talk to you all day. I am fine. I'm not mad at you. We ain't got no beef. Period. I just want to be by myself. I, I like me. I just want to be alone. You, just, you, like, you like you? Yeah, you I like, like you. me. I like me. I like me. I like, like me. I like the friend that mm-hmm. I am to other people. I like the friend that I am to myself. Mm-hmm. And I have to remember, I, I try to actively, I go out by myself way more than I do with people mm. because I have to um, recharge the energy yeah. that I'm pouring into others. I deserve to pour that into myself. That social battery. That's true. So a lot of the times I go out and I'll have earphones in because I'm talking all of the time. I'm checking up on people all of the Mm -hmm. time. So I need my time. Mm. We're claiming my time. (laughs) We're claiming my time. (laughs) Give me that. So another something else that I want to go into. Mm -hmm. Right. It's the it's the (laughs) someone said that when black people are on time. 
and I'm reading this. Uh-huh. When black people are on time, uh-huh. that means they not staying long. Yeah. No, that's so. That's is that true? I don't know who need to hear this, but yes. A hundred percent. Let me tell you something. If black people are early, that means they're leaving when it starts. Oh, they came probably for that plate. Period. <laughs> or to say hello because you some type of status. I got to say hey. I, I got to show, my, hey. face. I gotta show, I gotta my, show face. my face. I got to show my face. Yeah, that's facts. If we on time or early, that's, that's what's happening. Let me tell you something. If I'm early, baby, I'm leaving before the event starts. I ain't trying to see nobody for real. No, that's literally. why I'm early. That's why I'm trying to see you because you hosted it. And I ain't trying to see nobody else. I'm trying to support you, <laughs> but you need to know. That's facts. That I'm about to be out. <laughs> okay. So that if I facts. show up at 2.30, your event at 3, mm. baby, I'm leaving by 3. That's. I gave you, not, I gave 30. you a whole 30 minutes. And that really counts an hour because I was there early. Period. So that's times two. Uh, really? So that's really about two, three hours when we start doing the math. If you had, if you had to carry the one, don't forget to carry the one. Period. Mm. So for me. <laughs> And see, for me, especially in Atlanta, to be on time in Atlanta is to be basic. What are we that, doing? What are you doing? Who are you? Why are you here on time? Did you, you come to help? Time? Exactly. You must be helping. You must be coming to prepare because you know I ain't ready. Let me tell. Oh, boy. Let me. It was a couple weeks in ago. A party starts at four. I should have known. I was slipping. I should have known. That means preparation started four. That don't mean the party started four. If the party start at four on the flyer, okay, preparations are starting at four. Because what black person you know start a party at four? That's nobody normal time. No cap, no cap. And I was there till twelve o'clock because the food ain't finished coming out till eight. (laughs) Hey, that joint was good though, man. Appreciate you, dogs. That was some good food, man. You see, and this is why (laughs) this is why I don't show up on time because then I'm mad. (laughs) You you hurt. Here's my thing, right? I got one of my friends. She's white. She's going to know I'm talking about her. (laughs) She can't stand that shit. I think that if she could not be friends with me, I think (laughs) she... (laughs) She would have been cut you off. (laughs) I think I'm such a good person, though, that she's like, fuck, I think it's necessary. (laughs) She can't stand that shit. She's going to be pissed when she see this, too. She's going to be like... She gonna send me a thing when I put out this clip. Like, Are you talking about me? I know you're talking about me. <laughs> and I told her, oh my God. I, I'm on time when a paycheck is involved, that is or fact. when it's an opportunity. Mm-hmm. But when it's for fun, yeah. since my life, okay, because what I do daily controls my life, right? Mm-hmm. The stupid actions or smart actions that people make mm-hmm. that determines how my day goes at work, mm-hmm. right? Because mm-hmm. as you guys know, I'm a, a trained journalist, right? Not just a media personality. I really do both. And so when people get a, get in a car crash, when people are, mm. you know, I don't know, someone gets shot, right? Like that can drastically change yeah. my day. The time of my day, it may weather. Weather changes my schedule. Yeah. If there's a hurricane coming through where I may normally wake up at 4 a.m., now I got to wake up at 2 a.m. Mm. So I really, when it's fun time, fun Jeez. time, when it's my fun time, if you that may. means that I have no obligations today, right? I don't look at like a dinner reservation as like a uh, like an obligation. Yeah, you know, feel, yeah, uh, you feel. should try to be as on time as you can, and I do, right? I try. I yeah. just don't succeed. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's <laughs> like okay, I I know dinner is six, so I'm not gonna get ready till six. I'm not saying that. I probably remember the dinner was at six the whole time, and then it just so happened that dang, oh, it's five thirty. Ah, I'm telling shoot. you because you're relaxing, yeah, right? Because yeah. you're not working. And so for me, okay. it's a really one of those things that I, I have to tell people right now, I don't have the capacity to work on that. Yeah. So if you're an extremely punctual person, mm. then that means we just need to see each other in casual settings, right? Or tell me the event started 430. Or just lie to me. And Let then me tell I, something. I, I, My I don't, friend started know. lying to me and we ain't never it's got okay. into an argument since. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm I understand. perfectly fine with you lying to me. <laughs> if you like, hold up. <laughs> dinner reservation is at six. Let me tell this bitch it's at four thirty. You should. Facts, and then I'll probably get there at six thirty. <laughs> <laughs> I might get there at six fifteen. So if you like, and, but you know what? I'm not gonna lie. One time recently, my friend lied to me, and he was like, "Be ready by three. Uh-huh. I ain't have nothing to do all day, so I was really ready by three. <laughs> I'm sitting there. I'm calling. Where you at? I'm like, oh, I'm getting ready. 
You really ready? I was like, excuse me. <laughs> I was ready at 245. Mm. You said, you said, and then he was like, oh, how it feel? I was like. Do, <laughs> that do be, well, when they finally, when we finally ready, though, we on your, you on no. your ass. Like, come on. Dare you? Come how on. dare you? <laughs> you know I'm always late. You know I could have been chilling, getting my mental together. Talking about oh, some. You. I'm talking about some. <laughs> I was like, my, my, listen, my white girlfriend was so mad at me. She started sending me uh, like little memes and shit about how black people always late. <laughs> and I can't say shit. <laughs> I can't call it racist. I can't call it prejudice. I got to call it the truth because I'm her example. <laughs> that is fact. That's why they got color people, Tom. It's a thing. It's, Listen, it's, really it's a official. real thing. But you it's know why? It's official. because of all the things they did to us during slavery. My ancestors, oh. slave, I still feel it. Mm-hmm. It still be resetting my, my time, be off. Because yeah. you know, that's maybe if I maybe people. if we wouldn't, you know, have been put through all of that for so long, I would be Facts. a little bit more punctual. Facts. Maybe if I didn't have to face, um, you know, discrimination mm. every time I walk out, I would mm. be a bit more punctual. Poof. But guess what? And who? But guess what? Preach, preacher. You're gonna get what you get. Mm, that's Listen, facts. but I'm a good. But when I do show up, I'm baby, there. I'm giving you energy. Uh, I'm giving you what you want. What you need. I'm hyping you up. Amen. Baby, you don't got to pick up my bill. No. Nope. I'm paying for myself. Ooh. We're having a great time. I'm over here. I'm. I'm. I'm attracting men. I'm Camp attracting men. What you want? Pick one. Pick one. Pick one. Pick one. And okay. that's why they keep bringing okay. me around. That's why my punctual friends keep fucking with me. Uh huh. That's why they yeah, keep. Right. They like. They like. You know what? But when she do hit that stage, she hit that stage. What she gonna do? Hit that hit stage. That stage. <laughs> she gonna hit that stage. Stop playing Period. with her now. Don't Stop play playing with, me. with her now. <laughs> Listen. All right. So I did have one more topic today, but I think yeah. I'm gonna wait until um, our next episode to get it out. Okay. So we're gonna take a little break. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and we are back. Now, one of the defining things with this podcast is that I have a segment called Facts Versus Feelings. Mm. You know, there's so much misinformation out there that I really wanted to take the time to break down a issue or a news topic that people are talking about um, that may be trending of sorts and really, like, separate the facts from the way we feel because that is totally different. And a lot of the times I see so much misinformation out there, especially when it comes to the vaccine. Don't worry. This week is not a vaccine-related topic. I wanted to start out with something um, a little different. Now, the Minnesota Department of Public Safety introduced a new method that it claims may reduce the number of people shot by police during traffic encounters, right? Mm -hmm. And that method is pouches. It is important to note that I got this article from HuffPost.com, right? The author of this article is David Moy. So shout out to him. I was looking on HuffPost this morning, my producer and I, and we found this article. And we was like, this is a great facts versus feelings because it's pretty laid out. Mm -hmm. Right. So just some of the trusted sources was the data that I used is Washington Post, CBS News, Mapping Police Violence and NPR.org. Very important. All right. So Thanks. fact, according to a press release, motorists are supposed to place their driver's license, insurance card and registration in a pouch that is kept in plain sight in the vehicle. Right. Mm -hmm. um, fact. This, this entire thing known as none reaching was invented by a Virginia mom, right? But it's been publicized by Valerie Castile, who is the mother of Philando Castile, mm -hmm. right? Um, fact, she was celebrating her son's birthday, the Virginia mother, mm -hmm. and the same day that Philando Castile was shot, I believed, mm -hmm. I believe, fact, the Fairfax Police Department actually used a very similar method um, or started using something similar in May, but it's too soon to tell whether it worked. And if, I, if you see me looking down, guys, it's because I'm reading from the computer, mm -hmm. right? Um, fact, more than 50% of the state still have stop and identify laws that would make leaving your identification in your car a problem for everyone, mm -hmm. right? So let me just break this down a little bit more. Okay. Basically, the Minnesota police department right they have this new thing it's a pouch right that you're supposed to keep your insurance card in your license in and your registration in mm -hmm. and the idea is that if you get pulled over mm -hmm. 
that if there if there's this pouch there that you won't be mm. shot or that yeah. it lessens your chance, uh-huh. right? So I listed out some of the facts for you. It, it, it does exist, it's real, and it's not just happening in Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Feelings, before we go into right our feelings. Oh, okay. Feelings. Um, one Twitter user said, <laughs> why spend money on training officers to be less reactionary? cowardly and racist when you can just victim blame Mm. and print up some cheap ass plastic Mm. pouches Mm. instead right Mm. there was and i'm gonna and you can pull up the screen okay so i'm scrolling down here if y'all can see um because it was some really great tweets ryan says or you could just not shoot people or you could not (laughs) shoot people right someone already read that tweet someone said point ryan Love to have to never leave home without my please don't execute me for following your instructions bag, right? (sighs) Obviously, people are being sarcastic because this is years of pain. This is, this is, this is, you know, a pouch. The idea that a pouch can save your life is, I hear him. It's, it's complicated. And I understand why a black mother would want to try to support this that lost Mm -hmm. her son to this. Mm -hmm. Because as a mother, I am not a mom, but I talked to some moms this morning about this story. And they said, you know, you want to do whatever you can to protect your child. Yeah, You know what I mean? Like, you want to, even if you have to have, send them away with a stupid pouch. But this pouch leaves so many things unanswered. As you can see here, you see the driver's license, insurance card registration, right? This idea that what if you're jogging, right, and and people, mm. that's just, and you don't have it your is, license on you because it's in your car and your pouch, and what if you lose your pouch? It's just like having a wallet with yeah. these things in there. That's like, nice. there are so many different errors um, in ways that, that this can just really not work out right. Yeah. And, you know. And, and you know, I honestly, I see, I see the point, okay, it's a clear, visible pouch. It's sitting out in the open. Like, okay, I, I, I see your point. Now you, I don't have to reach inside of a glove box, something the officer can't see. But if we're looking back, and we're off the fact stage, so use his feelings. Yes. If we're, feelings. If we're looking back mm-hmm. at, at these shootings and things like that, that pouch would not, how much would that pouch have affected half these shootings? And I think then what, we, yeah. yeah, I mean, I think what's important to note about that as well is that Philando Castile announced that he had a weapon in the car, mm. right? He was like, okay, officer, I want you to know. I forgot. I, I was going to rewatch it for to discuss this mm-hmm. more for this episode, but I couldn't bring myself to do it. I did yeah. not want to see him get shot again. I didn't want to yeah. hear it. You know, it's a lot. For relive me. it. Yeah, yeah. I really didn't want to relive that. Relive that. Mm-hmm. And um, it's, it's traumatizing for me, you know. And I think that the problem with this pouch, although who's to say it won't work at all, but all I'm saying is that it puts a lot of onus on the person that doesn't have the weapon, exactly. that doesn't have the weapon, that doesn't have the authority exactly. in the situation. And that's problematic. Exactly. That's problematic. And it's almost like a slap in the face to say, well, if we can see this pouch, because there's there are still more excuses exactly that can be made. Exactly. Right. You can still say, well, I see the pouch because. I don't know. His pouch was black, and uh, they're all supposed to be clear. Or, right. or maybe the pouch fell down. You know, right. you don't now know I whether someone would. Now you got to yeah. go reach down to get the pouch, and mm-hmm. it's still this. And I was speaking with one of my producer, who's a black mom, and she said, "If I am out for a run and the police misidentify my son and ask and ask him who he is, and his ID is in my pouch is in the pouch in the car, mm-hmm. they can detain him until they're actually able to, to identify him. Idea. They could really like." That it still leaves and, a lot of unanswered and it's, questions. And, it's, and his detainment is the hope that they would get to that <laughs> point. And, and that's wow, the that's the that part. That was a really I've been dropping them. Statement. I've been dropping them gems. Them gems. That today. was a really de- detainment, detainment is, is hope. hope. Like and, and and that's the thing. Wow. That, and that's what gets to me. All right, we have this pouch, and, and I don't think I'm not. I'm. I think they're correct, and the pouch will help. Yes, I I, I think that's true. Will it dramatically but, help? Because the pouch you know. is not the issue. Yeah. It's not the reaching that's the issue. They they hands it on a weapon before they even get up to the car. How about um and I, his name is Elijah 
Oh, I'm forgetting his name. Oh, McLean? Y- yes. I believe that's was, it. He was walking, gifted yeah, student. It's gifted huge student. for my mom. Was walking. He, he ain't going to have no pouch on while he's walking. He got killed in the street. And, yeah, and he was gifted. Uh, I, uh, mm-hmm. I don't remember whether it was autism at play, but I, like I he was so. definitely a gifted I student. So. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, the and I saw one pouch that said, like, I'm not – I'm not being difficult. I'm autistic. Mm. But it's like, that's for the, if that's the, in the hopes that an officer is mm. thinking about all of those things at that time. Yeah. And I saw a very powerful statement that said the first thing an officer is looking out for is his or her safety. And this is from the actual nun reaching website, mm-hmm. right? So there's a website with this. Um, and that is true, right? Like they, they are looking out for their safety as well. I'm just not sure that a pouch is the simple is the answer, answer that we're looking for. And, and, you know, I feel like in deeper episodes, we'll dive deeper into this. But yeah. I do want to, you know, just wrap this part up. I would love to know what you guys think about this non-reaching pouch. You know, this is the part of it where we're really trying to separate the facts from the feelings. And the fact is that there is this non-reaching, not reaching pouch that does exist. How we feel about it? Well, from the things that I've read so far, you know... People aren't really uh, too in favor of it. Yeah. You know, it's not really looking like yeah. it would make a big difference. Um, and yeah. even when the fact comes out that it does make a statistical difference, it will be feelings on the other side of that. Because I, I, mm-hmm. it's always easy to manipulate numbers. I'm a numbers guy. And yeah. you can see I how always say that. Listen, you can find numbers to support your argument. Any you can argument. find numbers to support mm-hmm. whatever argument. We see Candace always do it all, all mm-hmm. the time. Facts. So that is it for the facts and feelings segment this week. Facts. <laughs> facts. And real quick, I'm just gonna do a three, two, one into the affirmation of the week, um, and then we'll be done. Um, yeah. Okay, we're back for the affirmation of the week, and I'm gonna leave you with something short and simple today. It's been a very rough week for me. You know, I've been dealing with a lot of things behind the scenes, and. I had to remind myself, you've survived every bad day that you've ever had. So give yourself credit for that. Mm. All right? Mm. I think that we can all agree with that. Yeah, that's a good one. So, always mm-hmm. remember, mm-hmm. you can't bully me. Nope. You can't bully Tony. Hell no. And they damn sure can't bully you. Never. Thank you for listening. <laughs>